In this box is a handbag and a piece of jewelry and kind of a combination of the two. Curious? Well, stay tuned and find out. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Inter Interruption Autumn here with an important message. Anytime you add a new bag to your collection, just like I'm doing today, you may want to keep track of it for personal purposes or certainly for insurance purposes. And that's why I developed a tracking system. I call this the My Handbag Collection Organizer. And it's a collection of pages that you can use to track all the information on each of your handbags. This is what it looks like on the front and back. So you put all the information about the bag as well as what you're liking about it, what you don't like, notes, price changes, whether you sell the bag, and then you have everything here in one place. I also have other sections besides that that you can check out. Everything is available on my website at autumnbeckman.com. Please check that out at the link below. Now back to the video. Let's get into this box. I have questions about both of these, like I'm not totally sure. The jewelry, I really want to work for me, but I'm not sure. There's something, we'll see. There's something about it that I'm a little concerned about, but I can return this if it doesn't work out, not a problem. The handbag, however, which I'm also unsure about, was final sale. <laughs> but at least it was at a deep discount from retail. So if I don't like it, I'm not out that much money. All right, here's the jewelry. First of all, it came in this little pouch. It's from Alexis Batar, and it's in my hand. I'll reveal it in just a second. Alexis Batar is one of my favorite jewelers. Just wanted to say that. Here is the item. It's a ring. This is their orbital ring. The height of that piece in the middle is what I'm concerned about. I feel like it may stick up too far from my finger, but let's try it on here. That's where I would wear it. That's how it looks. It sticks out pretty far. Yeah, that might be a little more than I really want it to stick out. And I really hesitated buying this ring because of that, but they had a good sale on it, so I picked it up, thought I'd give it a try. That may go back, but I hope that they make one at some point that's gold with, I don't know if you can tell, those are all crystals. It's encrusted in that center ring there, because I really want that style would go with some other Alexis Batar pieces that I have. Let me show you the other side of the ring. It looks like that. And there's the inside. I love Alexis Batar jewelry because it tends to be organic. The gold pieces aren't just straight across. They're kind of bumpy and wavy, and I really love that. I also love the encrusted crystals. But yeah, I think this one isn't quite right, so I'm gonna wait for the right piece to come along. And Alexis Batar is sold on the Real Real. I've picked up a few pieces there before. And Alexis Batar has good sales throughout the year, especially Black Friday. I know that may be a long way from when you're watching this video. Those are their best sales of the year. They also have sort of a sale or clearance section and they have a vault that they sometimes will drop old new stock, or is it new old stock? It's new pieces, but from previous seasons. Forgot to show you the inside of the box, looks like that. And the handbag is in here. I've had this box sitting in my office here for maybe a week. I've been dying to get into it and haven't had time to film. So I'm excited to see this. It's wrapped very well, or at least very a lot. Ooh, it's pretty. It's finally all unwrapped. Are you ready? Here is the bag. I'll bring it closer. It's a baguette style bag. It looks Looks like it's in snakeskin, but it's not. It's cow leather. You can see it has a stamped snake texture on it, and then the colors are all just printed onto the leather. So let's do a little spin here. It's quite narrow. It's longer than I was expecting. I'll give you measurements in a minute and I'll tell you prices and stuff. Hard to see, but it's stamped Alexis Batar right there. It's on the back of the bag. There's the other side the front again, the bottom, no feet because it's a shoulder bag. And something I didn't realize is that it's adjustable. So you can see right there, it has one, two, three, four, five adjustments. I have it on the longest one right now. Let me show you a few details of the bag that I love and tell you a little bit about it and then we'll look at the interior. So first of all, you can tell it's got a little bit of a shine to it. Now I have really bright lights on it. So in person, it's not gonna look that shiny, but there is, a bit of a sheen. I love that it has this pleating here. What a nice little detail. 
I also love the angle of this front flap. And of course, this metal piece here, I love that detail. That is what really sold me on this bag more than anything else, because this is like the Alexis Batard jewelry, and this is plated in gold. Chanel doesn't do gold but Alexis Batar does. Let's also check out the hardware. So this is the kind of adjustment where you have holes and then this little ball stud thing. So you just take the strap off of that and put the ball through another thing. This, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it, but it's not just a regular D-ring. It takes from the design of Alexis Batar because it is Alexis Batar. This ring, if you feel it, it's bumpy. So it's not just smooth straight across. It's more organic in shape gorgeous. The back of the bag is plain like that, like no pockets or ruching or anything going on. We have glazed edges. The base is reinforced, so it's kind of stiff. I mean, it's a little smushy if you really smush it. It's basically stiff on the sides. Let's do a quick mod shot or two with it. So on the longest length, it sits right here on me. I love how slim it is. So it just fits right up against the body and kind of feels like you're not even wearing a bag. The strap is not detachable. I was just thinking you could attach a different strap to make it crossbody since it has the D-rings, but you'd still have this strap attached to it. But there's how it looks, or a lot of people are wearing them like this, where it kind of sticks up and you can see the whole bag, your arm's not in the way. So that's how that looks. And then let's try the shortest setting on the strap here. By the way, two things. One, again, hard to see, but this little ball is not the round sphere that we're used to seeing in other clasps like this. It's also bumpy and organic. And I love that the end of the strap is even angled. So that's cool too, because when you have it on that shortest length, you have that extra strap hanging off the side and it gives it a little more of a design element. Another point of interest. On the shortest length, it's quite a bit shorter. Let's put that over my arm and that's like right under my armpit there or like that. I liked the longer setting better, maybe somewhere in the middle. But this would be good for top handle carry or just over the crook of your arm, which actually is very likely how I would wear it because on that longer setting, even though it's a slim bag, I was feeling like the strap would start to fall off my shoulder and have to be adjusting it all the time. So if it's on the crook of my arm on the shortest setting, that may work better. Now let's look at the inside of this bag. So there's our front and I think it's just magnetic. No, there's actually a snap. So it's got a magnetic snap. This I was reading on the website is not real leather, unfortunately. That's a little disappointing, especially at the price point this was, which I'll tell you about in a minute. This would be vegan leather, which is not leather. You can see how there's this piece here that lines up with the diagonal on the flap. And then when you get into it, well, first of all, there's a dust bag which I didn't know about. But once you get all that stuff out, you've just got a fabric lined interior. It feels like maybe a microfiber and it's just one open space. And then you have this slit pocket here. You also have that metal plate that says Alexis Batar. And let's do a very quick what fits on the very basics that I carry. Here's my Agenda PM from Louis Vuitton, my Zippy Coin from Louis Vuitton. And that pretty much takes up the whole bag. So there you can see I have the Zippy Coin turned sideways. There is a little bit more room if you have some other small things. And then I don't have anything in the slit pocket. So you may want to do instead of a zippy coin, a card holder, and then you could fit a few more things. Now let's talk price, because this is an expensive bag at retail price, but I got a fantastic deal on it. Retail on this was $595, so basically $600. That's a good chunk of money. Keep in mind, this is gold. But what did I pay? Only $120. How? Because when I bought this, it was in the sale section for 175 And if it's still there, I will link it below. They also had a pink version. It still had the snake color, but it was in this like fuchsia pink. And there were small little accordion kind of card holder things, but were also crossbody. One in the brown and one in the pink. So 175 and then there was another sale on top of that. So that's how I got it for only $120. Keep an eye on Alexis Batar if you like their jewelry or their bags, which are very sculptural and very different from what you usually see. Because like I said, they do have sales throughout the year. And when they do, I tell you about them on my community posts and sometimes in videos when I can 
can if I can churn them out quickly enough for the sale to still be happening. I was really unsure about this bag, but I'm liking it a whole lot more than I thought I was going to, which is a really good thing. Very happy with it. I can definitely see myself using this bag. Do you have any jewelry from Alexis Pitar? Do you have any of their handbags? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.